question is what are you looking to upskill on so guys at the end of the course what are you looking to upskill on i want you to literally comment right now so what are you looking to upskill on at the moment what are you learning at this in your current journey in breaking the data analytics hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're just stopping by you're most definitely welcome to my new subscribers i'm so glad to have you here i can one thing i can say for certain is you would gain a lot of insight as to transitioning into the space of data analytics right and to my existing subscribers because of you i'm here before we go on ensure to know like comment share today i'm talking about how i became a self-taught data analyst and i think one question i want to find out is do you think being a self-taught data analyst is good as compared to attending boot camps or probably even going to a f having a formal education or a formal degree in computer science that guides you through um getting started in data analytics would you rather prefer data anal being a self-taught data analyst or would you rather attend boot camps to be guided as to how to go about transitioning to field of data analytics right if you're between one of these categories whether uh, being a spin self-taught or guided um, learning please let me know i want to know in the comment section so please ensure to comment that below when i started out in data analytics i had little or no knowledge about what the field literally entails it was still a young and fresh career path at the time but yet it literally seemed to be on everyone's lips one thing i knew for sure was that it wasn't so programming intensive so it felt like a perfect blend of a less technical career path to delve into also it was such a great pathway to literally get into tech you know i mean even in building a career path for myself i knew i wanted to build a career in tech so the reason for all the decisions and also the choices i've made that's led me up until now right in this video i would highlight how to become a self-taught data analyst if you're just starting out now the very first point is stating the reason why you want to be a data analyst so question is why do you want to be a data analyst now i think i need to answer this pause this video and then write the reason why you want to be a data analyst for me at the time the current career path i was treading had limited opportunities and it was literally certification intensive you literally have to take a certification like ACIPM or CIPM certification to get started in, in talent management and I mean at the time that's what I saw in most job ads right after leaving the HR space I was in between jobs and I had enough time to learn I thought I was skill myself and that's where I found data analytics also one thing was the career projection and growth as a data analyst has an upward trajectory so the career path of data analyst typically starts with a junior data analyst and then you progress to a data analyst a senior data a senior data analyst and then data scientist or even chief technology officer you can also pivot into product managerial roles so if you push a career in data analysis you have a long future of steady job growth ahead also for me it meant i didn't have to tie to a company if i didn't want to pretty much right i could branch to i can start to branch into freelancing or consulting and that's one i did starting out it just goes to tell you that my reason was literally clear it was a sustainable long-term career with flexibility and freedom so now before starting out you need to understand your why like why do you want to be a data analyst and i think you should actually write it down you should pause this video and write it down why do you want to be a data analyst there's even a popular saying in the bible that says write it plain right you should write it plain write the vision and make it plain on tablet that he may run who reads it for me i want a long-term sustainable career and i actually had this written for some people it could be because they are not satisfied with their current role they are in or maybe they want to make a difference or maybe work life balance or maybe even more money which is okay right so whatever reason it is it's really important that your why is very clear now the second point is learn using projects ladies and gentlemen i can't even stress this enough use projects to learn frankly speaking all learning and no projects makes you a dull student meaning you're not career ready literally you need to learn by working on projects i for one am a huge fan of udemy courses and now this is because you're not just restricted to one style or method of teaching so for example you want to learn sql there are a plethora of courses that allows you to choose based on your learning style right so you're not just boxed into one course to learn also you can always augment your learning with another tutor where you learn something entirely new or also even learn the same thing but in a different way now although this is quite good right one way to learn using online courses is by first of all setting an objective question is 
what are you looking to upskill on? So guys, at the end of the course, what are you looking to upskill on? I want you to literally comment right now. So what are you looking to upskill on at the moment? What are you learning at this in your current journey in breaking with data analytics? And this also then points me back or brings me back to my very first point, your why. You can also apply this in here. And now this because it will guide your learning path, right? And also influence the course you would choose. Now the second point is ensure your learning choosing projects. Now this is called project based learning. The average completion rate for online courses teaches around 15% and the drop off rates are literally astronomical. Like I always say whatever course you're taking ensure it's project based and that's how it sticks. The field of data analytics and even tech in general is more practical and hands on. So now by working on projects directly, you are able to see how each piece fits. Also, these are projects that would eventually build a data analysis portfolio. So tell me, in your journey so far, breaking into data analytics, what learning platform have you found helpful and why? I would want to know. So let's talk in comment session. I would literally, I mean, I read all your comments and I respond to it. So if you found this video helpful, can we all just, you know, like, subscribe right now? Yes, let's do that. Now, the third point is I want you to source for a real life project, add that to your portfolio. That way, you've literally transitioned beyond being a self guided um, data analyst to now personally honing your skills without the aid of tutorials. So, now this brings me to my third point build a portfolio of what, all what you've done and host them on GitHub. If you have a particular um, domain or industry you're looking at, whether in the education space, or fintech or healthcare manufacture, manufacturing whatever industry search for data sets and work on real world project that solves a problem in that industry now this portfolio tells the different companies that you're applying to that you can use data to solve issues and as an aspiring data analyst your portfolio is one of the most important things that literally gets you the job so i recommend sharing projects that demonstrate um some specific um key techniques right first of be creative in solving or addressing the problem at hand also write an article that demonstrates how you literally learn your learning process i'm a big proponent of this i have a medium article that literally highlights all the projects i've worked on now this shows your employers your thought process as to how you go about solving the problem right you can always check my medium article to see some projects i've worked on and how i journaled it now if you do these things you would be amazed as to how confident you'll be even after applying for jobs right so now the fourth point is join a committee self-study can get hard i know and lonely sometimes so joining the committee has a way of keeping you going because you're literally in the midst of like-minded people who share a common goal right also most of these courses you take they also do have committees one i know is the zero to mastery course in udemy they have a committee on discord also for ladies and also aspiring women in tech I got you there's she called africa and it's a um, very good and a vibrant community so there are a number of learning of communities out there right so being a member of learning communities means you're soaking in new ideas right you're sharing perspective and engaging also reciprocal right so they are learning activities meaning you're also learning from your peers in the same field as well too so i would say joining a community is like having a support system and now the community literally helps you when you're struggling in any course and now to my final point, I would say show up. Guys, show up and show out. When starting out, you're your biggest advocate. So show up for yourself. I'll literally always be here with you for you. Speak to people in your industries that you're interested in working at, right? Leverage your LinkedIn. Write articles on your projects you've worked on. And it will surprise you how your learning has also impacted someone in their own journey. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you found this valuable, please ensure to click the like button and ring the notification bell to get notified when a new video comes up. And yes, subscribe too, okay? So have a great day, guys. Bye.